everybody and welcome to today's vlog. It is super duper duper early. It is 6.30 in the morning. I've been awake for already an hour and a half. I was awake by five. I rolled over in bed and Frederick was in our bed and I was like, how did you get here? You were sleeping in your bed when I put you to bed last night. And he ended up in ours. He's been just like walking to our bed and just hopping into it lately. Um, I actually find it really, really, really cute that I wake up to Frederick like right next to me and he wasn't there in the first place. Frederick doesn't want to say hello, but that's the usual Frederick these days. But yesterday we got a few Christmas presents for little Frederick. And I want to show you guys what we got because, well, why not? So this angle is not the most flattering angle ever. But we're just going to deal with it. So we went to Cotton On and bought some clothes for Frederick for Christmas. And I'm just going to go through them really quickly because my camera is dying. But we got this tank here. It's tank here. It's got like a cute pocket in it too. I really liked obviously the colour. I'm trying to add more colour to Frederick's wardrobe because mostly his wardrobe is like black and grey. So trying to add more colour here and there. And then we got this acid wash one. I got it because Jason absolutely loves acid wash. So I thought it would be cute for them to be like matching one day. Like I said, I went and got some skincare for myself. I went to Lush because Lush has really good stuff. I've tried their stuff before, but now being a vegan, I was just like, I need to go in there and go grab some stuff. This is the nine to five cleansing lotion. It is amazing. I used it last night. And my skin feels so good this morning. My mask also, I got the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. And I also got a shampoo bar. This is the Godiva Shampoo and Conditioning Bar. But I'll let you guys know if I like the mask and also the shampoo um, in another vlog after I've tried it. Because, well, I can't say I like them until I try them. But I used the cleanser and my skin is so nice today. It's been a little while. It is now 9.30. I put on my eyebrows. I also put on mascara. I'm not putting any foundation on today because one, it is super hot today. Um, more like the humidity is really disgustingly sticky today. So I'm just going to sweat it all off. And two, my skin is looking really nice where I'm like, I don't need to cover up this skin. So I'm not. But actually, I was just finishing cleaning up this house. Unfortunately, Frederick's make it, made it a mess again. But actually, my brother is heading over um, to our house at the moment because he is going to be spending the day with us. My brother shouldn't be very much longer. He should only be a couple of minutes away. But we're going to go to a huge plant nursery because I found a really beautiful nursery near us. It's apparently it's meant to be like spectacular. Um, one, I want to take some photos there. And two, I really want to get another plant. Um, I've become obsessed with plants at the moment. So I really want to get a new plant and I want to put it in Frederick's playroom so he can have some greenery in his playroom. I also want to get another plant for our bedroom, but I don't know if I'll get that today or I'll get that next week. I don't know, but I do want to get a plant today. And then we are going to go for a swim at the beach because why not? Like, it is such good weather. We're going to take Tiger with us too. We're going to go down to the dog beach, so it's not so busy. But we have enough space to ourselves also. That's something I love about going to the dog beach is that you literally get the whole beach to yourself because no one likes going down there because they think it's gross, but it's absolutely stunning. Speak of the devil, my brother is here. Told you he would only be a few minutes. I like your singlet. It looks good. It's the one you got me like two years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks good. I lost the white And you're the... wearing like the boardies that you've had since you were probably like 16. Wow, as if they still fit you. They've stretched <laughs> <laughs> since I've gotten fat. Definitely need to get you some new clothes. I do. Would you guys like to see me go shopping with my brother and redo his whole self? Let me know. Because if you do, guys, we will do it. <laughs> Jordan's like, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Don't, 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 don't say yes. We're not doing it. So we just made it to the nursery. I was actually a little bit nervous, guys, because Jordan's like, ah, I'm pretty sure this nursery just closed down. But it hasn't. There's lots of plants around and it hasn't closed down. But I'm really excited to go in and check out all the plants. And hopefully we can pick out a plant for the indoor 
playroom. I'm going to say that this nursery is like the biggest nursery I've ever seen and ever been to. It is huge. They even have a playground here, like a fully size, big size, huge playground. Don't forget the water fountain. And they have a huge water fountain and they have gazebos and they have like, they have birds. They have birds here. Like it's huge. So we've decided we're going to get this guy here for Frederick's um, playroom, but there's so many plants to pick from guys. So many. I really wanted one of these, but um, he's a little bit unhealthy, unfortunately, so we're not getting him today. So we're just going to go with the little, the little part. Right, we finished at the shops, the shops, <laughs> the nursery, finished at the nursery, got a plant at the back. We all decided to get um, ice creams and I got an icy pole and we're all good. It's vegan. <laughs> That's why I got the icy pole, not an ice cream. Frederick's also got an icy pole. I thought it was really cute. Frederick having an icy pole too. It's just really hot. My car says it's 35 degrees. So it's really hot. So I don't know if we'll go to the beach um, straight after this or we'll wait to Frederick to have his nap and then we'll go to the beach. Cause you're not doing anything today, are you? So J Jordan, I almost called you Jason. <laughs> um, so Jordan can stay here all day, but We'll just see. We'll probably end up going to the beach um, anyway, and we'll just try and put a lot of sunscreen on us like every five minutes. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have my icy pole. We're gonna head home. Been home for a little while, and I put our plant in Frederick's um, playroom. I just thought I would show you guys where we're putting him, and also I need to name him, so I need to find a cool name for him. But also I need to find a pot for him. I think I'm gonna go to I uh, came up and get a pot there for him but it's just actually right here in the playroom so this is the front door and then this is the playroom so he's right here chilling in the corner he's really nice but um yeah he's an indoor palm I feel like I should probably open the blinds for him so he can get some sun but um he looks really good against the white walls. So, um, it is, it is, it's late guys. It is super duper duper late. It's not actually, it's um quarter to six now. And let's just say we got home after the plant, nursery plant place, wherever we went. And um, we haven't left. We were going to go to the beach today to go for a swim. But um, we didn't, we just stayed home, didn't we? And we literally haven't done that much today. But unfortunately, Frederick is not eating tea again tonight. I don't know what's going on with this child of mine. He's become really fussy the last like week and a half and he's literally not eating anything but fruit or sandwiches. Like it's actually really annoying me. Annoying, I can't even say that word, annoying me because I go to the hassle of cooking something really 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 yummy and really good for him and he just doesn't want to eat it like I don't know he's never been fussy but in the last week and a half he's just become really fussy and it's really annoying so while I'm here with you guys I'm while I'm chatting I'm just going to go to the front room so you guys don't overhear Frederick's um what is the word Frederick's TV show on at the moment he's drew on my floors I will have to do some mopping Yay. Um, but I'm just gonna sit down here on the floor in Frederick's really, really, really messy and echoey playroom, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I definitely need to get a bigger rug because this rug is not helping with the echoiness or whatsoever. Okay, so we were going to talk about this documentary where Frederick um, was watching his TV show, but apparently he just wants to come in here with us. So he's in here with us. Um, but I wanted to talk about a documentary called Earthlings. You might have seen it, you might have not, you might have heard about it. I was someone who's never heard about it until I became vegan, it's all I've heard. Um, but when um, I ate meat and all that kind of stuff, I had never heard about this documentary called Earthlings. So I was going to talk to you guys about this documentary that I've watched recently and we're going to do it with without Frederick in the room, but um, he's decided to come in and um, hang out with us. Basically, this documentary I have watched is called Earthlings. It is an hour 
an hour and a half long I think it is or an hour and 50 minutes I honestly can't remember um, and it had took me four days to watch it because it is the most upsetting cruel cruel video that I have ever what I know but I know I had to get through this video because I really didn't want to watch it like again I just wanted to get over it um, I just wanted to get through it so I didn't have to watch it ever again I will leave it linked down below for you guys if you guys want to go see it but I just want to warn you guys oh, my camera almost fell <laughs> that was really scary I was just seeing it like drop um <laughs> I just want to say, if you guys are going to go watch it, I just want to warn you to say that you will most probably cry, you will be angry, and you might change your mind and become vegan. Really? Do you have to play with your annoying toy while I'm filming? Typical. I'm just going to get up and talk about this somewhere else because Frederick has got his annoying toy out. Most annoying toy someone has ever given us. Thank you, um, Denise. I love that toy. Don't, I hate that toy. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about this documentary just because um, I had never known about this documentary when I was eating animal products. And honestly, if I had known about this and I had watched it, I would definitely have become a vegan a lot sooner than I did. Um, but I think a lot of people need to know about this video just because... <sighs> Just because of the animals I think it's all about the animals it's not about our personal choices or anything I personally think it is about these poor animals um, it makes me sad thinking about these animals that I had seen in this documentary because they had went through so much pain so much anger so much sadness in their lives to to just get killed for our satisfaction and it made me really upset watching all these poor animals just die for us. And they hadn't done anything wrong in their entire lives. And they just get chosen to get killed for us. And it just made me really upset. And um, I just feel like more people need to know about this and need to know what's going on with our animals. I didn't want to get upset and I didn't want to cry about this, but it was really honestly the hardest thing I've ever watched. And yeah, I just want more people to know about what is going on with our animals. On a happier note, guys, how beautiful is our sky tonight? I love seeing all the clouds and the sun is setting over there. How beautiful. Oh, I wish we didn't have fences so I could see it all. Honestly, can't get over how beautiful the sky looks right now. It is so nice. Oh, I wish we saw the sunrise. I mean, the sunset. From Trying to get higher so I can see the sunset. But there's a roof in my way. Like, he's clearly right in the way. And I can't see the sunset. See, look, my roof is, like, perfectly in the way right now. I just want to see that sunset. I decided to stand up on a chair in the middle of my, my backyard just so I could see the sunset. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Wish we were at the beach right now instead. We're going to say goodbye now just because it's getting a little bit late and I feel like we have vlogged enough of the day. Um, but I'm really excited to vlog tomorrow. So I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow also, which is really good. I love when I actually feel really good about vlogging and I feel really good about vlogging right now. And my camera has decided not to focus. He's focusing something on else. Probably my child because he's more cuter than me right now. But we're going to head off. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And maybe hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more from us. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Well, Freddie's not going to say goodbye. So see you guys.